Commissioner of April. So I felt like I just would do this video real quick because um, I was asked to do a weight loss update journey or journey weight loss or update weight loss and just to know what I have been doing lately. And if you're wondering about this beautiful hair, well, it's the hair that I made using March Queen hair. I absolutely love this hair. I think it's because I love the color so much. I love like this blonde color. Like seriously, it reminds me of my other wig that I absolutely love the most. So, as far as my weight loss journey, uh, as you guys have noticed, through like my videos in general or social media, I have lost like a lot of weight. I did do a weight loss update or a weight loss, how I lost my rap, how a rapid weight loss video like a, a minute ago, some months and months ago, probably like nine months ago. And that's because I was using these pills that you could just buy over the counter, they're hydroxy cuts. Now I was taking hydroxy cut pills for like years. Um, but it seemed like after a while they just really did stop working for me. I wasn't losing any weight. I, I gained like all of my weight back and I went up to 223 pounds, okay, 223, 24 pounds. A part of me was like, I just really didn't care. It's not even that I didn't care, but it was just like, you know, I'm happy, I don't look bad, I'm, I'm just fine with myself. And then there's the other part of me that was just like, I do care, I don't want to look like this, but it's like, whatever I did, it didn't help. Like, I would exercise every day, and it just didn't help, so, and the hydroxy cuts were not helping either. So, I finally, um, one night I was just laying in the bed and I was on Groupon. And this was like back in September, early September, I will never forget. I was looking through Groupon and I wanted to lose some type of weight because I knew October 14th I would be in New York City for the RPG show and I really just didn't want to look fat. I just really didn't want to look like that and on top of that, I was going to see my ex-husband and I really didn't want to look like fat and out of shape and just like ugly. To me, I just felt ugly after a while. Seeing like this weight loss, they have a lot of these weight loss clinics out here in Arizona. Like everybody out here, not everybody, but there's a lot of these weight loss clinics. So I got a Groupon, it was for six weeks, a Groupon. And it was a weight loss clinic. And I chose the one that was closest to my house, like $29 for, um, $29 or $35 for a weight loss, you know, program for six weeks. So I buy the Groupon and then I go, you know. And when I first go there, they take my weight and they, they weigh you and you get on the scale and you hold on to it. And it basically tells you what your body is like. So like what your metabolism age limit was like. So meaning like my body was working in like a 70 year old person, meaning my metabolism was that slow. So that's the reason why I wasn't losing any weight. And no matter how hard I worked out and exercised every day, cause I was, I wasn't losing any weight. You didn't speak to the physician, the doctor that's there, you know, he speaks to you. He asks you what you've been eating. He, he gives you like this program of how to eat and what to eat and a menu and because He's, he's goes by your body mass and your body's height and things. So he can basically tell you in your age what you should be at and where you should be eating, okay? So he gave me this thing and it was so confusing at first, like grams and everything like that. I just was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm, regardless, I, I just felt like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try to follow this, but I'm going to also eat better as well on my own. And the problem with me is like this, like I don't eat all day long. That's one thing that I don't do. I don't eat all day. I probably eat like once a day because I get so busy. And that was my habit. Like I really wasn't eating properly. So after I spoke with the doctor, they gave me like these metabolism boost pills um, from, you know, from the place and like vitamin. But also if I wanted to buy Fetramine with it, it would be like an additional $18 cost every week. So I didn't have to pay to go to the clinic because I had already initially paid for that six week program, but I had to pay additional $18 if I wanted to take the Fetramine. All of the other pills like the Metabolism Booster and all of that and the B12 shot, that was already included in the package. But Fetramine does boost your metabolism. So they definitely start you on a lower dosage, okay? And like my friend, my best friend, she was taking it and she just would say how her face would feel like she wanted to pick at her face and she couldn't, she couldn't sit still. So when they gave me this, it didn't really do anything for me. It's supposed to like suppress your appetite and also make you lose weight. I still was starving. So the next week when I went back, I got another dose. 
And I finally got, went, the third week when I went back, I got the highest dosage, which, was, which is 37.5 grams or whatever. Not grams or milligrams or something like that. So a lot of my weight loss um, comes from, like, I take Fetramine, and I also eat a lot better now. So now what I do is I eat breakfast. Every day I eat breakfast, whether it's a banana or a bowl of cereal or a piece of fruit or yogurt. I definitely eat breakfast all the time, every single day. Um, sometimes I do go without eating a lunch meal, but if I don't eat lunch, then I have one of these which um, my doctors have suggested to me at the weight loss doctor. So I go to Sam's Club and I get these and they're premier protein shakes. They're 30 grams of protein and you need more protein. So I take these and these are really great because they do fill me up and I buy the 16 pack. I think it's a 16 pack or a 12 pack from Sam's Club for 16 bucks. I know it's 16 bucks and I can't remember if it's a 12 pack or what but I buy this and they have different flavors. Um, you can also get these at Walmart, but you're not getting like that many. So I take those and they fill me up. And that's just because if I don't have time to eat like what I do, because I'm so busy, then I have to take those. Because I've noticed like when I skip meals, I don't eat I don't, and I don't drink a lot of water. I um, end up with like a really slow, slow metabolism. So the most important thing to losing weight is eating properly. You know what I'm saying? Like so. I eat breakfast, sometimes I have one of those milks, but normally I have like a bowl of cereal, I love Special K, or a yogurt. I'll either have a yogurt and a banana, but I'll definitely eat breakfast. For lunch, I have sometimes like a half of that banana that I've already had and a yogurt, okay? And for dinner, I'll eat a salad. Like I have been getting tired of eating salad sometimes, I get tired of it, but for the most part, I really enjoy it because I just don't eat like a regular salad. As long as I put like, I only eat romaine lettuce and I'll get like this huge bag of lettuce from Sam's Club. So I only eat romaine lettuce. I'll get like rotisserie chicken cut up in a bowl. Like I can buy that at the grocery store that's already cut up. Rotisserie chicken. I'll put sunflower seeds in it, cheese. Um, I only eat Caesar dressing and like other little things. I don't eat croutons. so you know and or sunflower seeds or like trail mix I'll put that in my salad so and I'll eat it and I'll be fine with it so that is the way I've been losing weight but I also every morning I also do get up and walk two miles I walk two miles Monday through Friday and then sometimes I even do it on Sundays I walk I do squats because I didn't notice that my booty is gone or I'm losing some of it and like I'm happy with the way I am. I went from like 123, 124 to now I weigh one, um, two, excuse me. I said 123. Shit, if I weighed 123, I'd be, you wouldn't even see me. Excuse me, 223, 224. I went from like 223 and a half. And now I weigh 194. I was at 192, but I stopped taking Fetramine for two months. Like a month and a half, excuse me, a month and a half because they take you off of it so that way your body can not get used to taking it. You know what I'm saying? Because if your body gets accustomed to taking it, then you're not going to lose any more weight. Now for me, I've never had any of the side effects of Fetramine. Not everybody gets them. Um, the first time that I did notice taking like the 37.5 um, milligrams, I did notice that I was kind of like always in a rush and that was just like for the first two days I was constantly always in a rush in a rush in a rush in a rush the most important thing to lose the weight is you have to exercise and you have to eat properly so like you have to make sure that you have your square meals a day if you don't your metabolism is going to slow down and it's just going to feed off the fat in your body and so that's what I was doing even though I was starving I wasn't losing any weight so I make sure to eat and even though I didn't have lunch today this is my lunch for today. You definitely have to drink a lot of water. The fact you mean makes your mouth really dry. So that is the reason why you would see me chewing a lot of gum in videos recently because it just makes your mouth super dry. So I, even though I would drink loads of water, my mouth would still be dry. Um, but I just try like for my, I just try really hard to not eat like a lot of sweets. I'm not really a sweet person eater. So when I do find a sweet that I like, like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, it's like my downfall and then I just find myself constantly eating them. I haven't ate a burger in over three months. It's this January. I haven't eaten a burger since like early September and it doesn't really suck for me. I miss it, but 
I, you know what? I noticed that when I do eat things that I normally don't eat anymore, like I don't eat a lot of meat for one, and that's just my preference. I don't eat um, like steak and roast steak. I don't eat a lot of stuff like that. Um, when I when I do have things like I might have a cupcake or a cookie or some chips or something that I just don't eat anymore, my stomach gets really messed up and it gets tight and I'm not able to you know function properly. And then I have to use bathroom. So I've noticed that since I've changed my eating habits, um, certain foods they just don't sit well with me anymore, which is good. And it also makes you when you're able to eat more, you're also able to use the bathroom more. So for me. I needed a little bit of boost with my my weight loss and like I got stuck at a certain number like for a while I was stuck at 199 pounds and I stayed like that weight for like two weeks and for the life of me I just was like what the hell I'm not gonna lose any weight I'm not gonna lose any weight but you know just from watching people's videos like passion jones and then even asking my doctor your body is like going through a shot of losing weight so it stops losing weight for a certain period of time and then it readjusts and then it's like okay this is what we're supposed to do and it just goes back to losing more weight so like right now it's kind of like i'm stuck at this one weight and i have been this weight for a month and i'm i'm happy because like you know at least i didn't gain any weight like when i went to the doctor yesterday he said, you are not losing any weight. You've been the same exact weight for the past month and a half. Okay? Or for the past month. He was like, I wonder if it's because, you know, you haven't taken a fetch me. But, he said, also, he's glad that I just stayed it that way. Because a lot of times when people stop taking it, they gain weight. So, for me, I feel like it's really important. I think I was trying even harder because I wasn't have I didn't have those pills to make sure that my weight was stable you know what I'm saying so I made sure to walk so like the key factor is to walk to exercise for me you know what I'm saying for one my knee is bad so I have to walk um, I do lunges I do squats I eat properly I don't eat after a certain time I don't eat a whole bunch of junk food which I never really did but the main thing for anybody that wants to lose weight is to eat properly and there are a lot of different ways to lose weight but for me I need like this jump start because I would have never got to the pounds that I am now without any help like I went and worked out and I've done so many vigorous things to try to lose the weight and it just seemed like the more weight I try to lose the more weight I gain so yeah so because of my rapid weight loss, it's all due to fetramine and just eating properly now. Um, as far as the hydroxy cuts, it may work for you for a certain amount of time, but I just wouldn't get so comfortable using it. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely look into like healthier things um, and just meaning like eating certain things. There's all different type of recipes. Um, right now, I'm on the military diet from my doctor, which is, you know, like tuna and eggs and stuff like that. Well, I like that stuff, but I'm trying to just lose like some more pounds. I don't want to be too thin, but I do want to lose like the, the weight in here in my stomach. So I don't want to waste the weight though. So yeah, you guys, for those who have been asking me about my weight loss journey, that is how I've been losing weight. Um, getting smaller. Yes. So yeah. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on my journey. Um, hopefully, I keep it up because I want to get at least to like 180 or 170. And then I think uh, hopefully I can just stay afloat at that weight. So, yeah. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody. And I'll see you guys soon.